Hey everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Laura, aka Glow with Lulu, and today I'm gonna be filming a bronze glam makeup tutorial. So, bronze glam has been a thing in makeup for years and years. It's definitely the kind of look that I used to always opt for when I first started getting into makeup, before I was introduced to color or comfortable enough to use color products. I was always doing brown tones, bronze tones, those were kind of the safe route in makeup. And they are typically easier to work with as well. I haven't done a bronze makeup look in so long. I think the last one I did was like in November or something. So it's been a really long time and I just really want to sit down today and create a classic bronze makeup look. I don't want to do any color, any eyeliner, any glitter, none of that. I want to keep it simple. I want to keep it nice and bronzy. So in order to do that, I brought out an oldie but a goodie, the Morphe 35O palette. This palette used to be a must-have in every makeup artist's kit. It has some nice orange tones, warm toned browns, a nice selection of shimmery and matte colors. Morphe also sells an all matte version of this and an all shimmery version of this if you enjoy um, strictly mattes or strictly shimmers. But I like this one because you get the nice variety of both different textures. The one I have is also really old. This, as you can see, this is the old Morphe packaging. So this is what the old Morphe packaging is and then this is the new one. Most Morphe palettes nowadays have colors to their names. No, names to their colors, um, but this one does not, at least the, like the one that I have because it's one of the older ones. So um, I'm not going to be able to tell you guys which colors I'm going to be using specifically today. I'm just going to be pointing them out on the palette. All right, and enough of my babbling. I'm going to go ahead into the tutorial. So I'm starting off with my eyes and I am priming with the MAC Paint Pot. This is in the shade Soft Ochre. So I just went ahead quickly off camera to plan out the eyeshadow that I wanted to do. So I'm going to zoom you guys in and then show you how I did it on the side. Okay, so to start off, I actually started with this dark warm brown eyeshadow on a like precise packing brush and I started packing that on in a V shape on my outer corner. This color is probably one of my favorite mattes in the palette. It is just so versatile. I use it as eyeliner sometimes. Um, it's a really nice and pigmented brown color as you can see. And I've also used it as brows. So on my clients, this is actually the palette that I use for brows on all of my clients. Um, it has some like really nice, you have like your dark browns, both cool toned and warm toned. And you also have some nice light shades as well that you can use as brow color for um, people with maybe blonde hair. All right, so next I mixed in these two colors with a bit more of a precise blending brush. And I started packing it on while still blending out the brown. So I was packing it on and blending. And then I started bringing this color into the crease. And then for the last step, I picked out this light brown color as my transition shade on a fluffy blending brush like this one. And I just used that on top of all those colors to really marry and blend the colors together. And then I lost a bit of that pigment from the second transition shade that we used. So I'm going to go back into those two colors and then reapply those. They were nice and warm, and we really want to keep the warmth in this eyeshadow. All right, and then after that, I picked up this shimmery bronze red color on a flat concealer brush, and then I started packing this on to the middle of the lid. This is probably one of my favorite colors in the entire palette. This is so beautiful, so metallic and pigmented. And I'm using packing motions because that packs on the most pigment. And I'm also blending it into this dark brown that we used earlier. And then I went into these two golden shades. And I popped that onto the inner portion of the lid. These aren't as metallic as the first color that we used. So they're going to be a bit more subtle. And I'm going to pick up a bit more of that bronze shade and blend it into the gold. 
And then the last step is that I picked up the darkest brown in the palette using a eyeliner brush. And I packed that on only in the outer portion of my lash line just to create a bit more of a lifted cat eye effect. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you guys out so that we can do the base now. All right, I'm gonna speed through my base because it's gonna be the exact same routine as my base makeup for acne routine that I posted a few days ago. So um, I'm gonna link that down below if you wanna watch that. I'm gonna be using the same products and everything. I'm gonna do something different from my um, acne routine. I'm actually gonna cream contour just a little bit. I don't know why, I just suddenly decided I wanted to do this. Um, this is the Smashbox Studio Skin Shaping Foundation. Um, it comes with like a contour side. This has been discontinued, unfortunately. And I've spoken about it on my channel before. I love, love, love this product. Okay, and I'm also going to do a cream blush. So I actually filmed a first impressions on this guy. This is the uh, new Fenty Cream Blush. Um, this is in the shade Daiquiri Dip. And I filmed a first impression on it, which is going up after this video. But basically in that video, I tried it on a powdered face. And I wasn't a huge fan of it on top of powder because it did um, patch up. Um, which is the case with some cream blushes. I like it when my cream blushes can apply on top of powder because usually when you powder your face, it's gonna die take away from the color, so. But I am gonna test it out today before powdering my face. I don't know what's been wrong with my camera lately, but it's been making me look so bright, which is weird because I didn't change like any of the settings in it. That applied a lot nicer. So it's definitely not one of those cream blushes that you can apply on top of powder like the MAC ones for example. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and set my face using the Fenty powder as usual and I'm gonna use a darker powder to set the areas that I contoured. And one last thing for the base, I'm picking up the Essence Banana Bright powder and I'm just going to focus that right here where I have a bit of darkness. I don't know why my circles today just really wanted to peek through my concealer so this is what i usually do when that happens and before finishing off the base i'm gonna do my lower lash line the lower lash line is gonna be something very simple using that same small blending brush i'm gonna go into the second transition shades that we used and i'm gonna run those through the lower lash line i don't want the lower lash line to be too smoky and i am gonna highlight with this top um more satin shade it's not too shimmery. I'm gonna go into a bit of powder foundation to conceal this massive pimple that I have going on right here. And I'm gonna bronze with my Marc Jacobs powder. For blush, I'm gonna go into something a bit more neutral. This is the Nude by Nature blush in the shade Desert Rose. I know the cream blush that I used was red, but I really just wanted to test it out to see how it would work um, underneath powder. I didn't actually want a red blush. And for highlight, I'm going into the Extra Dimension Skin Finish from MAC in the shade Double Gleam. To add a bit more shine, I'm just gonna add a bit of that highlight onto the inner corner. Oh my god, I almost forgot mascara. So for mascara, I'm gonna use the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. Probably gonna throw it out after this because it's been getting really dry and clumpy. But I don't wanna use the mascara I used in my Sephora First Impressions because I wanna keep that for that video. I'm gonna apply a small coat to my lower lashes, nothing too crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and prime the lips with the MAC Prep and Prime Lip. And then while waiting for my lips to absorb that, I'm going to go into a brown liner. This is from Fenty Beauty. It's their fly pencil in the shade in Big Truffle. And I'm just going to pop that on my waterline. For my lips, I'm going to go into the MAC Spice Lip Pencil and overline my lips with this. Mm -hmm. 
And then on top of that, I'm going into Velvet Teddy from MAC as well. Okay, my lips are looking a little dry. I'm gonna go into a bit of lip gloss. This is the Sephora Ultra Shine Lip Gel in the shade Perfect Nude. All right, and that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this classic bronze glam. I definitely miss doing these kind of looks. I mean, I'm definitely tempted to add like a lime green inner corner or something. I feel like ever since I started playing around with color, I haven't been able to go back. Like brown eyeshadow is just so basic for me now. Unless I'm doing like soft glam looks, I will do that from time to time. But an actual like bronze smoky eye, I literally never do that anymore. So it was pretty nice to kind of venture back into the kind of looks that I used to do when I first started getting to makeup. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, then please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. Also turn the notification bell on so that you can get notified every time I post a video. And thank you again for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye!